Governor Greg Abbott says the legislature is closer than ever to passing his push for private education subsidies. Now, the plan for education savings accounts or ESAs would give families $8,000 to move their child out of public school. But so far, the governor has been at odds with some Republicans in the Texas House who say the plan would hurt their school districts. As KXN's Ryan Chandler reports, neither the governor nor his opponents are backing down. I will not stop until we get ESAs passed in the state of Texas. Governor Abbott adamant. His final push for ESAs will be victorious. We are on the one yard line. 18 I's, 13 A's, Senate Bill 1, school choice has passed. Moments after midnight Thursday, the Texas Senate passed a $500 million bill to establish an ESA program after hours of debate. But some fellow Republicans in the House stand in the way. To me, this debate is about are we going to fund public schools at a proper level to allow chance of success for our students. The governor now making clear he will only support more public school funding and pay raises for teachers if the House gets on board with ESAs. I wrote the agenda for the special session as only addressing ESAs. Once ESAs are passed, I will put on the legislative call the full funding for public education, including teacher pay raises. Republican opponents are entrenched, promising to draw out this fight as long as it lasts. I'm here in November, December, January, February, March, I'll be here. I mean, this is one of those things that I feel passionate about. And we're not just going to shrink from the responsibility. Nothing's changing. Nothing changes. Ryan Chandler, KXAN News. And the Senate has also passed a bill to increase public school funding by $5 billion and give every teacher a minimum $3,000 raise. Now, we have not yet seen any plans for school finance or education savings accounts from the House. The governor has promised to call lawmakers back in November if they cannot reach a compromise by the end of this month. Uh, going in depth on this, lawmakers and the Tax Commission in Oklahoma are at odds on how parents will be able to take advantage of school choice there. Back in May, Oklahoma's governor signed parental choice tax credits into law. For students enrolled in private schools, eligible families could receive anywhere between $5,000 and $7,500. The application period for those credits opens next month, but lawmakers say the rules about how and when parents can claim those credits really doesn't make sense. So now they're considering new legislation to clear up any confusion.